Okay, I just purchased this new wireless keyboard. It doesn't use Bluetooth. It's from Joy Access. Now we're gonna see would it cause happiness to my keyboard using. I picked a silver color it's a keyboard. Oh, nice! It comes with a keyboard protector, like a little sleeve. So it's not a full size, but it does come with all the keys that you need. Home, up, down, number key on the side, your control function, the Apple key or window key, I guess this would be. And then on the back, so here's an on and off switch. So the back is plasticky, size plastic, it's a little scuff here. Rubber pads for anti-sliding, it uses a micro USB for charging. So the only part is aluminum it would be here, as you can see. So it comes with the instruction manuals. Pretty simple, straightforward. A 12 month warranty, a USB charger. Let's see how long this thing is. A lot of time I like to know how long. I would say this is about six feet. Yeah, little card free gift. So you could get um, HDMI cable, the mouse. So the whole thing is plastic. That's it. This is pretty much uh, for the speed. Charging port for the mouse, the on and off switch, the reset button. Here's the nano USB receiver. So you're supposed to plug this into your computer to get this to work. This is a non-Bluetooth wireless keyboard. So to charge, it's simple. Plug this in, there's your red light. Indicating it's charging for the keyboard. Light turns red. Once it's fully charged, it turns green. Let me take off the silicone sleeve so we're ready to start. For the wireless connector, find an open USB port from your computer or a notebook. We we'll use a USB 2 plug. You go to the back of the mouse and then just flip the switch from the off position to the on. Typing is relatively comfortable. The buttons feel pretty high up. There's a little texture going on on the keys. It's not as smooth as um, the other keyboard that I use. The keyboard uses the scissor switch for low noise use. And the clicking on the mouse, it's also very silent. Perfect if your wife is still sleeping. Overall, the keyboard is pretty good, but the mouse is really cheap. The track wheel is stiff. So this button here, it controls the speed of the mouse. So and this is the default. As you can see, this is the default. If I click it once, it becomes a bit faster. Click it again. So there's apparently, I believe there's five. Once you click to the fifth, this is the fastest. The sixth time, it goes back to the original. To show you more precise, so this is one, the original. Second time, I mean, click it once. Speed goes faster. Three, four, five. And now back to normal. Notice one thing is when you click on this, you, you have to click and hold hard. Let me show you. So let's say you're drawing something compared to the other mouse. Um, see if I if I kind of press it not that hard, you see it from time to time it'll just like it seems to not function. Okay, now it's better. You you just have to hold it harder. This is this scrolling up and down. Here's a little comparison between uh, the Joy Access keyboard to the other keyboard that I was using. This is one of the um, Apple type of uh, keyboard. This is a regular Dell. 
So when you look at this keyboard, the full size keyboard, um, measuring these keys, they're half an inch each. So comparing to this, it's the same thing. Except for um, the other keys. So like the tab key, it's that guy smaller. So shift key, caps lock, all of these secondary keys are much smaller. And then you get the home keys is mixed with the num number keys together. And it's missing a window key here. The up down keys right here. End key. So basically they, they took all of these keys and aligned it over here. And they make these keys a bit smaller. So you have the delete key here. Backspace here. The number keys are exactly the same size. You would definitely hit the wrong keys because some of the keys are smaller compared to the regular full-size keyboards. I hope this gives you an idea how this keyboard is. See you next time.